Welcome to the House of Kittens, R1. This is Fukat, and today we are playing Satanists. So this game was created by the guy who left a comment on Steam saying, Hey, it's kind of cute. And also, based on the trailer of this game, yeah, it contains some copyright infringement, Nightmare on Elm Street theme song. So, I'm expecting a lot of copyright infringement in this game. So we're going to go ahead and get started. New game. Hmm? I fell asleep again. Okay. We need to walk or I fall asleep again. Also noting that the English is pretty bad in the game description. Okay, so first thing we already see is a Dell computer. That's already another copyright right there. I got my keys. I got some coffee. So this... I'm in an office. So I'm working at an office right now. I think this is, it looks to be a mental hospital. Maybe, I don't know. Gastronindologist. Ongdolologist. Infectious disease. <laughs> that is a weird, really weird name for a room. Urologist. If it's an infectious disease, I'm not gonna go that in, into that room. Okay, what the hell? I'm, Really loving this game so far. It's really, really bad. It looks good though. It's really smooth. It was smoother than that obscured horror game that I played just a couple of minutes ago called Eight Feet. I don't know why though. This is made on Unreal, and Eight Feet was made like on Unity. You'd expect like a Unity game to like be smooth and Unreal to not be so smooth, but it did it vice versa. Okay. Looks like we're in a cave. You know, we're in a cave. With a pillow, it looks like, yeah, we have a pillow here. Or is that like a sack? It looks like a fusion of both. Where am I? I am in a prison cell. Okay, I just press E for that. There's blood on the wall. Very spoopy. There's a dead corpse right here. What's going on here? A satanic ritual from what we're seeing here. Here's a small version of the sack that I had earlier. Um, wallpaper, I guess. I, I don't know. This is like caveman paintings. How I got here at all. <laughs> How I got here at all. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Another satanic ritual. Um... Is that's a pentagram? I I don't know all the grams. I think that's a pentagram. There's writing on the wall. I don't know what that says though. I can read the hymn your soul. Oh, give him your soul. I see it. Yeah, I'll give him my soul once I get my three dollars back after this. Game cost is three dollars. Why is there more caveman painting in the fucking floor? Alright. He's free. Who, me? As the door cell is like open. He didn't lock it or anything. I think he's like really stupid. He doesn't know how to lock cell doors, so. He would be a bad jail guard. So I guess we'll go the other way then. It's dark already. I just can't fucking see. I just gotta turn. Hopefully I'll see something. There we go. Welcome to hell. Yeah, thanks. That's actually a good skate video. Uh, my knowledge on skateboarding. Which no one will understand when they're hearing me talk about that. What do I do? Do I just... Okay, I just open the door. So E is to open doors. I don't, know, I don't see the scares so far. I'm expecting like the big jump scares. No big jump scares so far. And I, okay, I can't open that one. This one is openable though. Guns with this fucking face. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking terrified. Oh, a bloody bucket. Can we take it? Maybe we can splash it on the serial killer. Don't you hate those jump scares when it's like really dark and then you still get like a very bright ass jump scare? It's like what the fuck, it's out of nowhere. 
Oh, maybe something in here. Oh, okay. There we go. No batteries. What do you mean there's no batteries? Can I check my inventory? It doesn't seem like there's a button for checking your inventory. Okay. So what was that that I picked up then? Batteries? It just said there are no batteries. But it looks like I picked up a battery. Okay, so maybe what I picked up was a flashlight and we're looking for batteries. There's gotta be some batteries around here maybe. I'm not too sure where though. It's apparently around one of those type of boxes. The voltage boxes. Just gotta look very, very carefully. Is this? Oh my god. This is one of them. Okay, so now that we found a battery there, what do we do now? Okay, so there's a battery right here. It looks like a battery. Perhaps it is useful for me. Thank you. Okay, we can finally progress now, now that we have a flashlight. If I could thank God, it's so fucking dark in this game. Okay, there's more copyright infringement there. Shell. Just like SpongeBob Slender Pants. Oh, there's some doors here that I didn't even see. Here's some stairs. I'm about to get serial killed here. Throw some of that Apple Jacks at me. Wow, it is so dark in this place. Okay, there's a bathroom here. How weird. Just like out of all these random places, there's like a bathroom. You're in a fucking dungeon, there's a bathroom. <laughs> it's so random. A21, let's go in there. You can't. How about this? Any of these doors, do they work? Or did I... We look at you. Okay, look at me then. <laughs> I like how it got dragged and then when I walked over there it was still getting dragged and then it disappeared. They try so hard to make it scary. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I met his death. Okay. Um, that's... I like, guess disappointing that he met his death. I don't know, dude. <laughs> God. I uh, can't wait for my t-shirt to come in. That new logo t-shirt that I said was coming in from T Public. That should come in on Saturday, apparently. Yeah, it was still in Orlando, Florida the last time I heard it. I just left at 7 o'clock this morning. Okay, was that it? I was just here for a really poor jump scare. Jim! Mr. Serial Killer just killed me so I cannot play this game anymore. Not work. Okay, that bad. Watch some people correct me. I don't know why people actually correct me when I'm doing this on purpose. I'm glad these aren't openable because this would take forever. Oh, there's a door that opens. A ladder. Okay. Need anything here besides a ladder? Um, there's a little exclamation mark here. That's probably giving me a cutscene, I guess. So what the fuck? What? Was I just... What was the point of that? There's nothing else to do in this game. You just hide, is that it? Just one jump scare, a corpse. Okay, there we go, thank you. I was looking for something. Okay, 7-19-2017, that's in a year. Experimental, my bad. <laughs> Experimental, I hit my PC. Uh, the skin became Guana Decompose. Okay. Began to show a strong aggression. Even tried to kill the officer. Died. Preparation experiment. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see, note number two. Start the experiment. The virus is entering JRR-138. Experimental JRR-138-033. The hair on top of the subject's head began to drop. The face is modified. Some areas of the skin to change colors to green. We follow the developments. Pupils become guinea. I'm guessing that's how you actually pronounce it. Guinea, since it, there's guinea pig, but I keep saying guana. Yeah, it's guinea. Guinea green. There was an aggression, but no action is taken. Okay. So 
So we're going to that room then, and JJ1038 or something. Pointless as all of that was, let's go ahead and go to this side now. Only about ritual sacrifices, you will find the answer to your question. Okay. So, there's a dead doctor. Um. Fuck. I don't know this. Oh my god. Okay, I'll figure it out. What is the answer to my question again? Only about ritual sacrifices. You will find the answer to your question. Okay, one, two, three. I've seen three dead bodies so far. Okay, fine. You're not gonna cooperate with me? I'm just gonna look at someone else's walkthrough and see what code they got. Uh, we can go into the bathroom. I didn't even notice that. Uh, there's blood in the bathroom. Okay. More blood in the bathroom. It's all over the fucking place. Okay, there's a dead torso there. That makes like seven dead corpse. Um, no code. PNG blood. That is, in fact, PNG blood. This... I don't think I can play any further. I think I'm... I think I've done my time. This game, like, the puzzle, like, the code is so fathomless. I can't figure that shit out. Like, what kind of hint are they giving me here? Am I, like, getting a quantity of corpse to figure out this five-digit code? Because it is a five-digit code. I clicked on all of it. I clicked five times, and then, bam, they made a sound. There's also no number one. Just look at this. Hold up. Return to the game. If you go to the code thing, there's no number one. See, like, there's no one, but I guess that breaks it down. I mean, they have an asterisk sign, but that's it. All right, let me just type in a bunch of random codes. Could get lucky. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six-digit code. My bad. That was five. Guess I'm miscounted somewhere. But I think for three dollars, this game has already been come up. It's like, what? This is too much torture. Like. I'm already dealing with too much health risk here. Just playing this in so much fucking disastrous heat in this one room. Like, I had a bedroom in here. Like, if you have a bunch of items in one room, it makes the room extremely hot, and it's hot right now. I mean, you guys are probably gonna tell me to take off the fucking flando. But no, like, if I take this off, then people are gonna, like, talk about how I'm a pig or something, because apparently when I wear a shirt, I look like a pig. I don't know. Uh... I think I'm done with this. What else am I supposed to do? How am I going to figure out the code? It's like that hit does not help whatsoever. I'm just, I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Satanus, Satanus, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm done with it. It's so fucking bad. But a lot of these indie horror games on Steam tend to be bad recently. Okay, just... This has to be free. A game this stressful needs to be free. It doesn't deserve money, especially $3 for this, it doesn't deserve the money. But of course, the devs are always gonna like, deny what I say for some reason. Even though I'm just making constructive criticism, just pointing that shit out. I'm not saying, oh, the game should be free, but every dev that I talk to always think that I'm saying that. I'm not saying all oh, your games should be free, I'm saying this one specific game that you have put on Steam or Itch.io shouldn't be free because it's complete shit if it's like this. Like, if you made it free, there would be a lot more people just helping you on the constructive criticism. Actually, there's not a lot of Let's Players out there that are actually, like, very aggressive with their reviews. Like, there's no... It's like a lot of people, like PewDiePie and all of them, are gonna be like, oh, that game was pretty scary, even if it's, like, cheap jump scares, so they're gonna say it's worth the money. Like, they don't... They don't say that at all. I guess it's because they're big YouTubers and they don't want to, like, bash another dev and, like, get them attacked or something. I'm guessing that's why they're being really positive about their reviews. But with a small YouTuber like me, they're always going to, like, attack back at me. Even though I'm really trying to help out. <laughs> this, this game... <sighs> Just not worth the money. That's all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Satanist. And subscribe to the outro if you have not. Share this to your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Like and comment on this video. And I'll see you guys 
in the next playthrough. Stay awesome, Kitty Sabres. Haha! <laughs> oh no! I think there was a page there, but I didn't get to go to it. That is one obnoxious sound effect. Dylan, you're ugly. It's, it's, bruh, bruh.